I feel so blessed. I got these for myself on eBay. And yes, it looks like a lot. Each one is under $20. I don't think that's quite true, but that's the goal. I have been fortunate. My Sin by Lanvin, Ode Lanvin. Vintage bottle of Youth Dew, Cologne, Estee Lauder. Yeah, this is a vintage bottle of the, it says Cologne. This is an unusual bottle. I couldn't find any others like it. So Canoe by Dana was marketed towards women sometimes and other times men, depending on the country and the year. And I don't know what year this is from, and I don't know who it was marketed towards at that time in that country. I believe this is from Argentina. Yes. That's where that this cologne came from, Buenos Aires. And then look, there's more. And so that's the packaging. All of the items were well packaged. That's for sure, sometimes more than. This is gonna be one of those gorgeous bottles of perfume oil and the one that I made a video for you on, the Egyptian musks video. This is another. I think this is Oud Malachi, but it may be a different one. And then here, this is what I was hoping would come early. And it did, it came a day early. Carriage Lantern. And this, I don't know if you can see, yes. It's English leather, five fluid ounce decant. Try to carefully take the packaging off. Look at that. I can't wait to see what it's like inside. Yes, I got my nails done for the first time in a long time. Then it says English leather right there on the glass. I thought that was cool. This hasn't been opened. Let's see. No one opened their bottle. They didn't enjoy it like that. I'm gonna cut it right there with my box cutter. There's some old fashioned scotch shape there. Or is that masking tape? No, it's scotch shape. a frame on the glass. Oh, it's heavy. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, what's it? What's, how do you take the lid off? Oh, <gasps> interesting. You're supposed to use it straight out of this on your nightstand bedside table. Uh, wherever you keep your clothes. Interesting. Is it even used? Let me see. Don't want to drop it. I think it was used. Maybe it wasn't sealed. Maybe after all, it was just sealed. Unsealed. Expertly unsealed. Yeah, it's called the carriage lantern. It's supposed to be a replica of like a a lantern, car a carriage lantern that was carried on carriages in the 1700s. But yeah, so what, man? There's no spray, but you know what? This is a big, heavy bottle. Super cologne, carriage bottle. Yes, it's my birthday present. 
already passed, but it took me a while to find it. This is what came in this box. This came and it's tied up. I think this might be geared towards men, but I'm not sure. I can't remember. This fragrance from Swiss Arabian in the UAE. Mmm. See, this one's gold. This is the only one that's gold that I've seen of the fragrances that, you know, this is a different style bottle. What's it called? Oud Malachi. Yes. Oud Malachi. Yes, I just got my nails done. Did I mention that? Um, yeah. I never know what color. In fact, I I don't have a color. Should I smell it? Yes, I should smell it. Be careful. Oh, yes. It's like a light, light floral. I'm not going to say white. I'm going to say light colored floral and delicate. You know, certainly lily in there. I don't smell the oud right out of the get-go, but that means that it's gonna be good. That means it's gonna be good, I think. Yeah, more on that later. Ta-da, I'm back in my office and I just wanted to show you some of these fragrances. I haven't cleaned them yet, but you won't be able to tell probably. This one, Oud Malachi Perfume Oil by Swiss Arabian. This, excuse me, this is Rose Malachi. What happened? This isn't the right one. I apparently brought the one wrong one over. Yes, this is Oud Malachi, I just got this today. And I still don't know if it's, if it's marketed towards men or both because I don't think this is on Fragrantica's database. I told you it was a light floral because I was smelling it from the wand. Here, it's a glass wand. But when I put it on, it's a rose oud. I think it's smoky. The oud is smoky but gentle. And not necessarily synthetic. This could be real oud in here. And I don't know when this was released. I don't think it's on Fragrantica. This is a, I got this on eBay. I don't know. It was $37 in some sense. But I'm a sucker for this bottle. I'll admit, I'm a sucker for the bottle. And it's heavy. And yeah, it looks a little off. I don't know if it's straight. Yeah, I guess it's straight. I think it's the crystal aspect of it is kind of fooling with my my mind. Yeah, it, it looks a little off there. Yeah, depending on the angle that you look at it from. Anyway, there's that. Then this is my sin, Eau de Lanvin, and um, the bottle says Lanvin. This might be from the 1950s or 60s. Now I have this in the set. You might have seen it if you saw my collection video where I show like my entire collection. This is leathery and aldehydic. This is an, a vintage smell. Floral aldehydic. I believe there's some leather in this. My sin. And I like this bottle. I don't know, maybe like one and a half. No, two fluid ounces here. Lanvin perfumes. Yeah. There are a few of these bottles out there. You can get some for a lot of money. You can get some for less than 50. Just depends on the seller. Yeah. I mean, I would love to get the others from that set. I think I have... Hmm. I can't remember the other two in this mini set. Not a mini set. It's like a perfume extrait set. Yeah, in my collection on my vanity. And then we have a Youth Dew Cologne, one fluid ounce. 
There's just a four on the bottom. This smells better than my spray ball. That smelled boozy. That smells like really good cognac. Unbelievable difference between this and the spray. This thing, this thing is like trash compared to this. This has the same vintage smell as the opium in my collection. It's like a spray bottle of Eau de Toilette opium. Yeah, it has the same smell. It smells like someone's bathroom, and I don't know what that means. I don't know. Something from the history, from my past. But yeah, I mean, this looks like it wasn't used. Look at how, how high the level. It wasn't sealed. Man, I want to spray. I want to... I want to apply it. Man, that cognac smell. Hmm. Oh, wow. It's so boozy. This is so boozy. It's awesome. This is romance right here. This is a romance fragrance in this particular bottle. And then we have the uh, Vintage Colonia Canoe by Dana from... Buenos Aires, Argentina. This lid is a certain style with this little thing in there. This shape lid. And um, when I was looking at the price, they offered me a discount. And I said, could you please verify approximately how many fluid ounces that bottle is or how big? I was expecting it was a mini. Based on the photos, it just kind of looked like, no, oh, there's no way. I know, it was something about the way the box was photographed in the pictures of the listing. I thought, no, I'm not gonna get my hopes up for that price. It's probably just a mini. And then they told me they thought it was maybe two ounces. And I was like, yeah, please, please, please. Let's, let's make a deal. Let's arrange a price that's mutually agreeable to us. Yeah, did I show you the bottom? It says Dana in there. This one smells better too. It smells better than the other. And yes, this smells better than the other, maybe less vintage bottle of it that I have here. This one's very powdery. This is my first bottle and it's very powdery and reminds me of baby powder in a way. But it has vanilla in it. That's the main accord. But this one, see the lid here, there, it's shaped. This one, more squared off, but still with that little thing at the top. And this is more boozy too. Makes me think that they're making it from alcohol that's aged in like barrels. In fact, they might have been. Man, this one's more balanced. This one's more balanced. This is not as powdery in that way. Of course, it is powdery on the dry down, this one. So yeah, you're not gonna find this. I don't think you're gonna find this, Colonia. I really don't. I picked it up. I kinda couldn't stop myself from picking it up. And then here. The Carriage Lantern Super Cologne, five ounce decanter. Now my friend says that this is, well, the English leather was released in a lot of decanters, but this is mine. And I traced it to an ad in 1976. They first offered it, okay, so this was at Sears, in the Sears catalog, and they referred to a previous price, which was $8.50, printed here on the box. And this was selling fall of 1976. Then by Christmas, it was on sale, marked down to maybe like $6 or something like that. So they were trying to get rid of it, which makes me think they probably only released it one year because they marked it down at Sears in the discount catalog or something. I'm just going off my memory here. And then what's this? Is this porcelain? 
No, it's plastic. I touched it to my teeth. It's plastic. This might be plastic too. Yeah, the lid is plastic. The lid is plastic. 1976, what do you expect, you know? It's not like it's not like 1876, right? So, yeah, they wanted to make this affordable so that people could buy it. I think they might have made it a little unaffordable and not people weren't buying it enough and it wasn't as much demand. So this one was unopened in the box. And what does it say? On the top somewhere, yeah, it says here. Something about replica. The ancestor of the headlight. The design of this bottle is a replica of an authentic carriage lantern, the type found on the famous post chaise coach used throughout the 18th century England. So that was the 1700s. This is number 909, net fluid ounces five. Tear off this label at perforation to remove price. I'm glad they didn't, because I like it. I think that's everything from my fragrance haul. That's all that came today, my five packages. And wow, I feel fortunate. Again, because I'm not gonna have fragrance hauls all the time. In fact, not every day, not every day. Not a lot fragrance haul every day, Johanna. Can't do a fragrance haul every day. Can't. Now this bottle of Estee Lauder Youth Do has a number printed on it. It might be a batch code. In fact, I believe it is. C79E. I haven't looked that up. And then I still have my most precious in here from yesterday when I wore it all day, applying it as I like. This is my bottle of one ounce, one fluid ounce, cologne, most precious. Released about 1950, 1951. It's gorgeous, it's sexy, it's animalic. It smells like a woman. Who knows what she's doing and she probably just like doesn't care but it's beautiful so high class classy fragrance i wore it on a sunday didn't attend church with it but i did wear it on a sunday and i had a wonderful time so thanks for watching i'll see you soon and uh not sure how many more fragrance hauls are coming soon. It's always a little bit of a surprise, but there's going to be something for you. Maybe not a haul, maybe something smaller than that, but something coming. I'll talk to you soon.